case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for the case of stoppleworth vis refuse hideaway inc at all pit john and jacqueline stoppleworth against several defendants involving a dispute over the alleged negligent operation of a landfill the stoppleworths claimed that this negligence resulted in john stoppleworth developing skin cancer However, a significant part of the case was the court's decision to prohibit the mention of one specific defendant, the defendant's insurer, Bituminous Fire and Marine Insurance Company. During the initial hearings, a jury found the defendants negligent, but not the causative factor for John's skin cancer. Following the verdict, the circuit court moved to dismiss the case. The Stoppelworths appealed this decision, leading to a further affirmation by the Court of Appeals. At this juncture, the Stoppelworths brought forth the issue of whether they were within their rights to have all parties named in the lawsuit. While there is no explicit constitutional or statutory rule to this effect, the Court agreed that it would be sensible for future cases to ensure that all joined parties are identified to the jury. Despite this acknowledgement, the court upheld the earlier decisions, leaving the jury verdict undisturbed. The Wisconsin Supreme Court ultimately concluded that the Stoppelworths had not been deprived of substantial legal rights when prohibited from naming Bituminous, the insurer. The gag order did not critically influence the case, leading to the affirmation of the circuit court's dismissal of the Stoppelworths' negligence claim. The plaintiff's appeal for a new trial, grounded on allegations of a biased defense witness, was similarly rebuffed, with the court finding the existing process of cross-examination adequate in testing witness credibility. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.